moment of joy for heaviness. A place where the world works wonders. Come, experience worship and praise in a heavenly manner. Healing for hurting souls. A place of deliverance and prophetic declaration. By this time next year, there are many singles hearing the sound of my voice. Your husband, your wife shall stand by your side. In the name of Jesus, truly, you will move forward. The stories of more than 77 people will change this night. Amen. Wonders TV with Reverend Dr. Austin Egagi, Senior Pastor, Assurance of Salvation Ministries International, aka Fire Center Worldwide. I titled this message, Whose Family Needs Deliverance? The way we look at deliverance is like deliverance is an insult. It even come to a point where the husband will tell the wife, you need deliverance. And the wife will point to the husband, hey, look at the man that is telling me that I need deliverance. You are the one who needs deliverance. Some may see it so abusive or insultive to the extent that they will say, come, it is your family that needs what? Deliverance. Then the woman will shout out, Hey, it's like you do not even know the kind of family you came out from. It is your family that needs what? Deliverance. That's why I titled this message, Whose family needs what? Deliverance. First of all, what is deliverance? Liberation. God setting the captive free. Listen, if you don't believe in deliverance, you don't believe in God. Because the reason why you have relationship with God is that God should be there to do what? To deliver you. Christians should be aware of this. That when you give your life to Christ, that is salvation. Salvation process does not end there. Salvation process continues from the point of your salvation. So what's the meaning of salvation process? By the time you get saved, you have accepted Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior. The next stage you should go into is the stage of deliverance. Now, there are two types of deliverance. The conscious deliverance. God can deliver you without you knowing it. There were certain habits in your life. You went to the presence of God while you were speaking in tongues and you were just praying and you were worshiping God. God by Himself starts to destroy you. It kind of change you, refine you, but deliver you without your knowing it. Why another form of deliverance is when a higher power is needed to break that yoke out of your life. Let's go a little. That second stage of salvation. First stage, repentance, receiving Jesus into your life. Second stage, deliverance, telling God, God, set me free from my past, from whatsoever that holds me bound before. And then this third stage is a stage of receiving the Holy Spirit. You receive the Holy Spirit in order to empower you not to fall back again to the kind of life that you used to live before. All right, let me explain. Are you with me? The book of Exodus was a book of salvation. Where God came down and saved his children away from the land of Egypt. The book of Leviticus was a book of liberation, the book of deliverance. It is one thing to be free from Egypt, another thing for Egypt to be free from you. It is possible to leave Egypt, but you carry the idol of Egypt in your mind. 
some people are saved from idol worship they are saved from paganism they are saved from the life they used to live before but that thing is still living in their mind in the book of exodus remove the children of israel from egypt in the book of leviticus god removed egypt from the minds of the children of israel jesus christ said the spirit of the lord god is upon me in luke chapter 4 let's look at the scripture verse 18 the spirit of the lord god is upon me because he has anointed me to do what to preach deliverance to the captives so if jesus was sent to preach deliverance who am i that will not minister deliverance just that people should understand what deliverance is then people should not misinterpret deliverance deliverance is not going to the river pouring olive voyeur buffing yourself with 75 candles and all the rest those bullshit that is happening in the body of christ today no deliverance is getting yourself liberated from the shackles of egypt from the past life that you lived before so they will not dominate your new life so they will not influence your new life that is what deliverance means so when they say it's your family that needs deliverance so hey, hey it is you that needs deliverance so husband and wife quality it is you that needs it we see that when somebody say we need deliverance it's like insult it's like it that person is abusing us not knowing that the bible says that deliverance is the children's bread matthew chapter 15 verse 26 jesus answered and said it is not good to take the children's bread and give it to dogs uh -huh. and she said true lord yet the dogs can have access to the crumbs that falls from the rich man's table jesus was trying to say you say you need deliverance i should deliver you but you see i have been sent to the household of israel not to a foreigner eh? you are you, you are requesting deliverance that's supposed not to be your own it is the children's bread so if somebody said you need deliverance it's not an insultive word it is good it is your portion it's your inheritance jesus was sent to preach deliverance jesus ministered deliverance to me do we move a little all right let me give you some few points sir if truly look at psalm 44 verse 4 psalm 44 verse 4 thou art my king thou art my king oh god oh god command deliverance for, for jacob. jacob command deliverance for my family you are my king oh god command deliverance jacob is my family my family needs deliverance how can i know when my family needs deliverance let me give you some points According to Exodus chapter 1, verse 14, any time it seems to you as if somebody is making the lives of your family members to be bitter, then your family needs deliverance. Read it, Exodus chapter 1, verse 14. And they made their lives they, bitter. They made their lives bitter. They graduate from bitterness to bitterness. No good news. No breakthrough. You're not expecting to hear any good news from any of them. And your mind is telling you that there is a figure somewhere. There's a personality somewhere, whether in the village or in the town. That is creating this havoc. That is causing the entire family to shed tears, to live in bitterness then you will know that your family needs what deliverance you act quick don't wait for things to go worse you act quick it was when they made their lives bitter that they stated the introduction of moses and what was the mission of moses deliverance i am choosing you go and deliver my children from the hand of pharaoh and out of the land of egypt so the orders of moses was very clear deliverance was his action his mission deliver my people 
deliver your family members and moses went into action and truly his family members they were delivered somebody shout hallelujah Hallelujah. Look at another point again. In Judges chapter 6, from verse 3 to 5. And it was so. And it was so. When Israel had sown, uh -huh. that the Midianite came up, uh -huh. and the Amalekites. Number two, way to know when your family needs deliverance. When your result is not commensurate to your efforts, you put in more effort and you produce little results that you will know that there is a canker worm somewhere that is eating the sweats eating the labor of the family family deliverance whose family needs deliverance my brother my family needs deliverance and i pray deliverance for my family and today i'm happy seeing them it came to pass when they will sow, you will sow seed, sow offering, sow tight, sow partnership, and you are not receiving the corresponding results. Then it means that. And if it's you alone, it means you need deliverance. But if the same thing happening to you and also happening to members of your family, then you will not know that it's not just you alone, but the whole family needs what? Family deliverance. A particular family came to see me. I was surprised they told me the story sir this one the best among them was okada rider so we are coming for deliverance when we went for prayers and fasting god opened our eyes and he showed to us many years ago our grandfather was a very powerful weather hunter a native doctor and he used the destiny of all the children to acquire power he sold the destiny of the children to the river spirit and the river spirit gave him power in return now the grandfather is long dead now now all the children they are paying the debts anyone who tried to rise something will happen either for one night will take their money something will happen somewhere that will take them down again the best among them was an okada rider and they came to see me they were more than 14 and I asked in the spirit, Lord, what do I do? And the spirit gave me some leading. So take them. Let's handle the prayers this way. In order to bring liberation to the family. Whose family need what? Deliverance. Let's read on. Go on, sister. Yes. And the children of the east, uh -huh. even they came up against uh -huh. them. Go on. And they encamped against them. Go on. And destroyed the increase of the earth. They will destroy the increase of the earth. Go on. Till thou come to Gaza uh -huh. and to left uh -huh. no substance uh -huh. for Israel. To go on. And they leave no substance for Israel. Neither sheep. Neither sheep. No oxen. No oxen. No ass. No ass. For they come. Up. They come up with their with their cattle and their and tents and their tent. and they came and they came as grasshoppers, as grasshoppers for, for multitude, multitude. Uh -huh. for their pots uh -huh. and their cat came uh -huh. without number uh -huh. and they entered into the land to destroy to it to destroy it. Listen, many families have been sold long ago, sold long ago. In the days of darkness when Christianity has not come and today they are suffering some some innocent children are suffering things that they cannot explain a woman entered into my office and told me sir my son is having mental problem right now I, as I speak to you now they have tied his leg somewhere Please, sir, we want you to join us to intervene. And as I wanted to take action, the spirit says, sit down. Sit down there. Baba, why? Say, ask this woman, where is the father of the child? Mama, where is the father of this boy? Mm. He is dead, though. What killed him? Mm. He was a 419 now. People gathered together and they released costs on him. It was a cost that killed him at the age of 42 years. Now the son, now we thought his death would be the closure of the chapter. 
not knowing that even after his death, the children started enjoying the inheritance. Are you following me? There are things packed up by parents, by some evil fathers and mothers, and the children will only grow up innocently to start suffering what was laid down many years ago. Today I stand as a servant of God. Is there any suffering you are undergoing in your life that you cannot explain? You don't know why it is happening to you. You were not the one. You don't know how. Today, the God who was there many years ago when it happened is breaking the yoke out of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. We had a meeting here, a very huge man who was formerly the manager of Nigeria Bottling Company sat at the front here as i was ministering god led me to him as i stood close to him the spirit said take the sword he said break the chain from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet so i took the spiritual sword in the name of jesus whatsoever chain they have used to hold you down break the ushers had him he fell on the floor by the time we were through he came to meet me in the office Man of God, do you know me before? I said, no. I said, this is the former general manager of Nigeria Bottling Company. They dropped me without benefits. Now, because I have influence, I have many friends who are lecturers, many of them managers, many great friends. So with my connections, I said, okay, let them secure somewhere for me to just keep my life on. When I get to this one's office, they say, oh, the only job that was available was given to somebody yesterday. As I get to another person, oh, I wish you told me last week we just put somebody into the new office. And the man was roasting at home. By the time I booked him and his wife for prayers, and I told them to sow a seed. Because the, whatsoever, if... If your family went into bondage, there was a sacrifice that brought them to that bondage. You must also pay sacrifice to bring them out. There is nothing like free deliverance. Free deliverance for where? A price must be paid. Why? Because those who brought you into bondage also paid a price. I rest my case there so that some people will not misinterpret me. So I see it when you are coming for deliverance. Yes, sir. And the very day of the deliverance, where is your seed? He said, please, sir, excuse me. Him and his wife, they went outside and I saw them carrying heavy television. They carry heavy television to my office. Sir, what's this one? Said, sir, we wanted to sow. 1,500 Naira, but we don't have one five. And I told my wife, instead of us not to sow anything, we sow this television. They really meant it in their hearts. And after I ministered to them, I said, go home. Go through three days fasting. In the course of that three days fasting, while they were praying, him and his wife, the foundation of their house began to crack. Crack crack and they were shouting holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost and then little a time an old man over 300 years came out from the ground ah, ah, holy ghost fire holy ghost fire ah, and they must say stop and they stopped and the man asked them your fathers fathers planted me in this house is it you little rats that was born a few days ago that want to remove me from this place and they said well we don't care whether our father placed you here or not so you see there was a contract any demonic contract that is bringing tears to your eyes that is bringing pain to your life any evil contract or cultic contract or cultic once your parents belong to secret society they may not see the pain while they are alive but once they lose the children will start to enjoy the benefits 
If I mean the benefit, I'm talking about the inheritance. If we but we make we have we eru era or we have do they buy you or do they buy society ma? Yeah, but era me wune ye me wune aka na eri sit na gmo yero. That receipt I tear on this night. Anybody who made business with the Kofu and decided that through that business now you they will take pay. Now your blood they will take pay. Now your suffering they will take pay. I tear that receipt in the name of Jesus. Amen. As he was shouting, yeah, then the man said, Well, I don't care whether you have ruled that for our father place you, but in the name of Jesus, get out. Why the fire increase? The old man ran away from the house towards a particular direction, and the man woke up and he was surprised. He came to consciousness, he discovered it was a revelation that was given to him. He and his wife they came back, sir. We want to share our testimony. We want to share our testimony. Nobody knew that an old man was inside that house, inside the foundation. Any demonic old man that been hiding the foundation of your family. You get to some family house, they will use cowrie to design cross. You get to some family, they will put a circle with cowrie. And in a particular place, it is there. I don't know. May God help us. You want to enter the house, you have to bend down to some idols first. Because it, the thing is at the front of the passage house. So you bow down before you enter. Anybody coming must bow down. They tie broom. They tie some kind of calabash. They tie some kind of cocotion. They put it there. And everyone in that house, they are subject to that spirit. From today, God will give you power over that spirit. Amen. Whose family needs what? Deliverance. There are some families, all of them are beautiful, but they don't have marital luck. You don't marry eh? The boy saying like me. The boy saying like me. Mr. Yes, he like Kamsha. With the way the boy they walk, the ring road, he like me, me still like him, sure. He but as you find Rizzo, why you know if he see better person? All of them, they will be beautiful, but they don't have marital luck. This one will marry teacher, this one will marry, this one will marry. No, no, we mean go make sure what they they marry. <laughs> if I saw a teacher, I marry. A teacher, I marry. Hallelujah. Marry anyone you want to marry. But no, no, the one that we even marry a substantial person, after the marriage, they will drop him away from job. No more work. There are some, they are the ones feeding their husbands. They will labor, they will cater for their husbands. They don't want to break the marriage. They are no longer looking at the man's face. They are not looking at the children's faces. Are you following me? Something is wrong somewhere. Standing on the rock to never fail. Standing on the road to never fail Standing on the road to never fail